Hello, Olivia here. In this video, I'd like to show you a roll stretch technique, which uses a hard ball and a wall. It's a standing exercise, and it's to help you soften muscles and tissues underneath the shoulder blade, right next to the spine. In order to get into those tissues underneath the shoulder blade, your arm will be across the body so that the shoulder blade is moved around the rib cage out of the way, in other words, so you can get into the tissues underneath the shoulder blade. There is a floor lying version of this exercise, which is quite a bit more intense. Might film that another time. I like to do the standing one first because you've got a lot more freedom of movement to move the ball around in a vertical up and down sense and also side to side across those same tissues. So I'll take you through it now. So you'll have the arm across the chest and the ball will be positioned just to the side of the spine. You'll be standing back to the wall. I've got my feet about hip width apart and then roughly six to eight inches forward of the wall so that I can lean onto the ball. Now you might have to wriggle around a little bit initially to get the ball in there and trapped. And I like to hold this arm here, the right arm, the one across my chest, and let that arm go completely limp. Breathe and relax there. Now, because I'm standing, I can wriggle around just a little bit without having to hold the ball in position and without it escaping. And I want to find something that's a little bit sensitive. So just do a tiny bit of moving around. That in itself is moving those tissues. And breathe deeply onto the ball. Breathing is very powerful in this particular movement. When you found a, a sensitive spot, just pause there. Breathe even more deeply. And then we'll start some small movements up and down. You want to be able to control that ball. I'm using the strength of my legs in a, a squatting up and down action. And I'm just feeling in that up down movement, where are the sensitive spots? Might all be sensitive. Just have to play with it and feel what it feels like. Anytime you become aware of a more sensitive spot, just pause there. Pause, breathe and relax. Breathe as deeply as you can onto the ball. If you need more intensity, push through your feet, particularly your heels, and you can drive yourself onto the ball a little bit more. You can now play with quite a number of things in no particular order. Try tucking your tail and then untucking your tail and feel whether that changes the sensations for you. Most people find that pulling on a strong tail tuck really increases the intensity of the sensations there. Then you can play with some slight rotation movements on top of the ball. So now you're moving the ball side to side on top of those same tissues. You can vary the speed at which you move. Don't move too quickly because you don't want the ball to spring out of there. Once you find a sensitive spot, just pause there, push through the heels more, perhaps tuck the tail a little bit more. And then holding that shape in the spine and the pelvis, imagine yourself as a pendulum on top of the ball. So I'm moving the hips forward and backwards with reference to the wall and that moves the ball around on those tissues in a slightly different way. All of these exercises, you're trying to play around, use a variety of movements and feel what it feels like. Good. Then you can do some little circle movements on top of the ball. Circling around the shoulder, you can be lifting that shoulder up and down. all the while breathing relaxedly and breathing as deeply as you can onto the ball. Cool. All right, to come out, just make sure you reach around and get that ball so it doesn't escape. And then when you come off the wall, move the arm around. How does it feel? The whole point of these techniques is to try and relax, release things that are holding unnecessary tension. 
So give that one a go.